We've all heard the horror stories. E-bike batteries spontaneously combusting, burning houses and properties to the ground in the middle of the night, and even injuring people. It has gotten so bad that even some landlords have outlawed owning e-bikes altogether. I cannot even begin to tell you how many times I've been about to fall asleep and then thought to myself, did I leave an e-bike plugged in? And I have to walk downstairs, stub my toe in the dark, fumble around, make sure everything's unplugged, and it's just a huge hassle. Today, we're gonna build a battery charging box that is gonna greatly reduce your anxiety when it comes to charging up your e-bikes, e-scooters, whatever you've got, and it might even just save your life. To kick this project off, you're gonna need a few different tools. You're gonna need a drill with a drill bit capable of puncturing metal, and you're also gonna need a little bit of electrical tape. The next thing you're gonna need, and this is the most important aspect, is gonna be a sturdy metal box. And I think this one will do. When it comes to picking out your container, you can really interpret it however you want to. You can get creative or you can be discreet. Now, one thing I will say is it is important to pay attention to how it goes together. Having heavy duty latches to where if there was some pressure built up inside, some sort of explosion from a thermal runaway inside of a battery, you want it to be able to keep the lid on. If this lid pops off, this really doesn't do you much good if you have stuff above it, such as a ceiling. Now, I will also say, if you are planning to build one of these boxes to keep it work or take to school, probably pick something a little bit more discreet than this. That should go without saying, but maybe a toolbox? I don't know. But also pick something with thick gauge enough metal that you feel like if your battery did kind of let go, it would hold it all in. I've taken a look at my battery and how it's gonna sit in here. It's gonna sit lengthwise for the most part. And I'm also going to take my charger. It's probably gonna sit like this whenever it's down in here. So that means I'm gonna put my hole about right here. All right, we've got our hole drilled, but do not click off this video just yet. If you do, I promise you are creating a much more dangerous situation than what we even started with. Now, here's where the science comes in. Batteries, whenever they're charging, produce lots of very toxic and highly flammable gases. So just think about this for a second. If we have no other ventilation than this little hole down here, all those gases are gonna sit right here, so every time we open it, we breathe them in. Horrible for your health, don't do that. But also, if there were a thermal runaway, if that little LED on the charger switched from green to red and caused a spark, highly concentrated flammable gas, spark, metal box. Do the math, bad day. What we're gonna wanna do is put more holes in here so that way, naturally, it's going to draft air in, pull it out, and all those gases will be able to vent to atmosphere. And yes, you might be thinking, why would I wanna put holes in the box that's supposed to contain fire? Think of this like a fire pit. This is gonna contain the bulk of the fire, the bulk of the heat. Yes, the gases are gonna go everywhere. It's gonna stink, it's gonna get smoky but this is designed to buy you time and keep the fire from spreading. Let's go ahead and drill those holes down here on the side and keep in mind, don't put them on the same side that your charging cord is coming out of because then you would literally just be directing flammable gas at an electrical outlet. Come on, let's put the holes in it. I went ahead and I kind of did this cool pattern. It reminds me of like the flame guard on a Zippo lighter. I don't know just kind of fits the whole theme and have fun with it. The key is you want to be drawing out more air than what you're drawing in. On the other hand, I did take some electrical tape, taped up the sharp edges on this hole so that way when my charging cable goes in and out, it doesn't get cut or damaged. Now, one thing I thought about whenever I was drilling my holes was people may want to put a power strip in here. I would highly advise against that because you got to think power strip, multiple open outlets, flammable gas. Bad idea, don't do it. I know it sounds tempting. Just pass the cord through manually each time. Not a big deal. So without further ado, let me show you how it all works. All right, I have my cable passed through. I have my charger right here. I'm gonna go ahead, drop this down in the bottom. Nice and simple. I have my e-bike battery with my charging port right here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that inside. Grab my charging cable. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my battery in. Lay my battery down. 
Grab the lid. And just like that, I feel a lot safer charging this battery. I still don't recommend that you walk away for an extended period of time or you take that weekend boat trip leaving this thing plugged in. That's just a bad idea in general. Now, if this does go off, one thing that is absolutely imperative to have on hand is going to be a fire blanket. When it comes to a lithium fire, you have to cool these down gradually. And even if it does seem like it's out, it can spark back up at any time. So contact your local fire department. They have proper procedure to get rid of these things. Some additional notes is I would always be sure that whenever you are removing your battery from it, unplug this plug from the wall, give it a couple minutes, let any of those extra gases that may have built up dissipate, and then go ahead and take your lid off and get your battery out. Again, this is not supposed to be a perfect solution. All it's designed to do is buy you a little bit more time if the worst case scenario did happen. If you appreciate and you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next video.